In this video we are going to see what grey codes are and their properties, how to construct the grey codes and few applications of these grey codes. Grey codes are named after a person known as Frank Grey. The most important property of grey codes is that two successive values differ only in one bit. Okay, let me write down that point here. Now we will see how to construct grey codes and after we construct we will see how this property is going to be okay and its significance. These grey codes are also known as reflected binary code. Reflected binary code. The reason why it is called reflected binary code is it's a basic principle by which these grey codes are constructed. Okay, now to start with, let us take one bit binary values. Okay, in one bit we can have two values, 0 and 1. So we can call this as one bit binary, okay, or in this case, this is also one bit gray code. Okay, and Based on this, how do we construct a 2-bit gray code? The way to construct it is take 0, 1 from this, okay, and assume there is a mirror here, and if we take the mirror image of this, we'll get 1, 0. And if we take these values, okay, 0, 1, 1, 0, and place zeros in front of the first half of these values and ones for the rest of the half okay so this makes 2 bit gray code okay now how do we make 3 bit same procedure okay take these values okay and rewrite it here 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 and take the mirror image of this we'll have 1 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 okay take all these okay and for the first half of them place 0 as MSP okay now let me write down the same thing here 1 1 1 0 1 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 now for the first half make it zeros and the next half make it ones this makes our 3-bit gray code okay now let us look at the property which we have discussed that is two successive values differ in only one bit now let us see what are two successive values suppose take this is the first one the successive value for this one is this okay and for this one the successive value is this fine and for this one this and backwards also okay so for this one the successive value would be oops this one okay now this this one and if you see from the first one to the second one you see only one bit change okay so the only bit change is this and for the second one there is only one bit change that is this and for the third one there is only one bit change that's this from this one to this one there is only one bit change that is the first I mean the MSB bit change so if you similarly consider the 3 bit one there is only one bit change here only one bit change compared to here only one bit here one bit one bit one bit change again one bit change from this last one to the first one again only one bit that is the MSB one to zero okay so if you look at this diagram, okay, consecutively one after the other has only one bit change and going back the last one to the first one also there is only one bit change. So some people call them as cyclic codes. You see why it is cyclic? Successively it's changing one by one and from the last one to the first one also there is only one. It looks like a cycle, right? so it's called cyclic code okay you can call them gray codes reflected binary codes or cyclic codes and coming to the applications point of view where gray codes are used the first point why it was actually 
used was to prevent spurious outputs from electromechanical switches but today we use digital switches okay but once upon a time it was used to prevent the spurious outputs now these days these gray codes are used in error corrections and in digital communications such as cable TV systems and terrestrial television okay digital terrestrial television and in our course in further videos we're going to see maps known as K maps K means Carnap maps okay Carnap maps in which we're going to use these gray codes again okay so we're going to revisit this topic then we discuss Carnap maps which is a very important topic in for reducing a logical function okay if you like the video please do subscribe and thanks for watching